Hi everyone, I am Cornelius of Voice Studio East, and this is the fourth episode of my beginner singing course. Last time we worked on sustained notes with an emphasis on timbral warmth. Today we will expand upon that by working on maintaining that warmth throughout a song phrase by the use of a legato articulation. Legato consists of tying notes together into an uninterrupted phrase. This is fairly straightforward to do when only vocalizing on vowels, but becomes a lot more difficult when those vowels are interrupted by consonants. For that reason, when learning a song, it is often helpful to remove the consonants at first and then add them back in once you've got the hang of the vowels only version. That is precisely what we are going to do today. For this purpose, I have selected a musical period from Elvis Presley's Can't Help Falling in Love. It goes like this. Take my hand, take my whole life too. And with the consonants removed, it goes like this. A I E A O A U. Now, since the goal is to develop an even tone, there are a couple of things to watch out for. Firstly, it is the tone we want to equalize, not the volume, so we'll want to avoid holding back for the higher notes and instead allow the volume to rise enough to maintain the warm tone across the whole range of the song. In other words, instead of this, it should be more like this. A second pitfall to watch out for is raising the larynx and brightening the tone a lot for the higher notes not only disrupting the impression of legato, but also ruining the tonal consistency. That is to say, instead of this, it should sound more like this. Finally, to get a rich, warm sound, it is important to keep your face animated and full of mirth, and make sure to use the shiny A vowel discussed in previous episodes. Link in the description. With that in mind, let's proceed to the exercise. E -a -e, e -a -u -a Oh, oh, oh. 
And now that we've got the hang of the vowel-only version, the next step is to add the consonants back in. But to prevent these from interrupting the legato, we shift the consonants from the end of one word to the beginning of the next. So, for example, take my hand becomes take my hand. Also, as before, it is important to make sure the high notes do not become muddy or restrained. We are not looking for this. Take my hand. What we are looking for is this. Take my hand. But here we may encounter another pitfall, namely rushing through the diphthongs and singing mostly on the closed part instead of the open part, like this. Take my hand. Instead, we need to delay the diphthong as long as possible and stay on the first part of the diphthong when sustaining a note. Finally, as before, the larynx should not rise excessively, as this would disrupt the tonal consistency and make the phrase seem uneven. If you find this happening when you try to sing the phrase, Take my hand then the most likely culprit is that the mouth opening is too small for the high notes. It may also help to raise the chin and don't forget to add some mirth to the sound for extra warmth. In fact, there should be enough of a smile for the upper teeth to be visible when singing the high note. With that out of the way, we'll proceed to the exercise. Take my Take my whole life to And now with me Take my hand Take my whole
whole life too And that's about it for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. Stay tuned, remember to like and subscribe for more content, and as always, thanks for watching.